London. Hello everybody, welcome to the Echoes of War Battle Pass stream. How can you hear me? Welcome to the Echoes of War uh, Battle Pass stream. How can you hear me? Ah, sounds good, doesn't it? Hmm. We're going to wait uh, until 13 and then we're going to start. No, it's uh, not Cyberpunk. <laughs> it's Armor Warfare. I was setting it last night and yeah, it worked fine. Okay. <laughs> How are you all doing? All good? Right then, uh, let us begin. So during today's stream, I'm first going to show you the actual battle path, the windows, what's new and so on. And then I'm going to just play, answer questions and so on. So you can save questions for later if you have any. And I hope I will be joined by uh, my colleague Maciek who will be sending uh, bonus codes to the Twitch channel chat from time to time so you guys can <laughs> get something from us. Alright then, 13 it is, let's begin. So, um, battle pass. As you can see, I don't have the access yet. Uh, the prices are the same as last time, so like 3,000 gold and 15,000 gold. Only thing that changed is that uh, since since the battle pass is a bit more, the levels of it are a bit more expensive. Uh, not not much, but not a bit. Uh, we have updated the um, battle coin bundle here from 42,000 to 50,000 battle coins. It will still get you level 20. So but what I'm what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play 
without buying metal coins. So you might you might not see all the vehicles in action. <laughs> Cause I'm not. I don't think I'm that good. But uh, I'm going to talk to talk about them a bit first. So you'll have a preview of what's going on. Right. Let us begin. I'm going to purchase access. Uh huh. Archi achievement unlocked. So basically the whole the logo or the symbol of this battle pass is this uh, this weird mask because you know it's supposed to be a bit bit like Mad Max. <laughs> the battle pass is post-apocalyptic themed, and the name Echoes of War is referring to the fact that uh, in Armored Warfare Lore there was a, there was a huge battle um, with an organization called Enigma and the leftovers of that battle are yours to collect because there was a there was an apocalyptic event where a super volcano exploded and uh, basically the whole world is now half destroyed mm. and whatever's left is yours for the taking you take a you become a raider in this harsh post-apocalyptic world and you must do whatever you can to survive. Now mechanically this battle pass is basically very similar to the last one although there are some changes which we will talk about. So what you have are first 50 levels here or ranks. See, here it's called level, here it's called ranks, it's the same thing. And uh, basically to unlock the next rank, you you start with a, with, with a player title called Settler, and to unlock the next rank you must earn battle coins, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, <laughs> You have all sorts of prizes in the progression, unlike last time, we have also skins in the progression. And there's one more cool thing that I want to show you. Uh, we have this progression avatar. Um, first, you earn, when you, when, you, when you obtain the access, you earn this, this animated avatar, which is uh, basically a bearded post-apocalyptic guy. And the avatar changes as you progress, so... For example, here we have uh, the same guy with a gas mask. And uh, basically this isn't a different avatar, it's the same avatar, it just uh, changes as you progress through the battle pass. So only the people with uh, level 50 achieved will get its final version, which is, is pretty crazy. He gets uh, progressively more kitted out. And in the end he looks like this. Ooh, spooky. Now, uh, another change that we have implemented is that uh, while you do get uh, the first vehicle on uh, level 10, the skins for them, uh, here it's called Vagabond, um, they are basically now a part of uh, level progression. So you don't have to complete missions to get them. This is something that uh, many of you have been requesting. Well, not many, but some of you. And uh, we basically complied. So the missions that uh, the previously awarded skins now have different prices. We'll get to that. Uh, regarding the main prizes, uh, on level 10 we have the Shilka which is um, an, an, uh, a Russian or Soviet anti-aircraft gun. I'm going to show you after I'm done with the basic mechanics. See, two levels higher we have a skin for it. Mm. Decals, uh, battle coin boosters, the usual titles, survivor. It's pretty cool. Here we have even gold. On level 25, we have uh, the first 
premium artillery in a in a very long time, and and second overall because there's only the earlier Abbott. It's called is a Russian artillery called um, Sta S, uh, named after named after a river. If you are interested, in Siberia. Um, it's pretty much what you would expect. Uh, it has a 152 mm cannon. It's quite accurate. Fires reasonably fast. Tier nine. So we've updated the the, the price ranks, you know, price tiers. Uh, this is one of the reasons why why the progression through levels is a bit more expensive. Before it was like 4,000 battle coins per level. Now it's 4,500, but you get more in return. See, on level 30 we have uh, a skin for it, which is also cool. We have some gold, another version of the avatar. And on level 40 we have Crimson Tema S, which is a Russian, again, um, tank destroyer. has two missiles. I'll show it to you a bit later. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty stealthy, it's, it's quite low, so it can hide over obstacles. And when you hide behind an obstacle, uh, you can basically fire over it, you know? Because uh, as you can see on the icon, uh, I'm going to show you later. Um, it has this extendable, extendable launcher. And this launcher can basically fire over even smaller hills and so on. So it's kind of like the stalker. Here's a skin for it, level 43, premium time, 30 days, not bad. Uh, this is a this is a this is a flag. <laughs> uh, and finally, on uh, level 50, we have what you've been all waiting for: Object 195 or 195. Um, it's a heavy, again, Russian. Russian super tank with uh, with Soviet roots. It has a 152 mm cannon and is basically quite similar to the premium Armata. Only you know you can get it without loot boxes. Um, as a bonus, it has a coaxial 30 mm cannon, so that's very useful for destroying lighter targets. But uh, it doesn't have. Uh, Active APS, so you can't, you can't, uh, you can't use that. Here, as I said, uh, we have again mission chains, but this time they don't have skins; they have camouflages in uh, in their final price. Uh, we have three basic chains, which are dedicated to specific classes so you need to use a specific class to unlock them or yeah sorry to unlock the uh, to complete the missions um, you get extra battle coins from them as usual the missions aren't aren't really difficult they are mo they're, they can be completed both in PvE and PvP hardcore hero extreme. Mm. Of course, you need to complete them with a tier 3 vehicle or higher. That's because on tier 1 and 2, PvP consists of AI controlled opponents, so let's say, to you know, ease new players into, into, into the whole concept, into the mode. And in the in our previous battle pass, we had bad experience with players abusing this, so we have raised the bar to tier three. And finally, when you complete the tenth mission, uh, you can uh, unlock not only the not only the uh, sorry not ten one two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six missions this time. We've reduced it from ten. You can unlock the camouflage, but also so-called mission coordinates. And this is this is a really simple item. Basically, you need to complete all these three chains uh, to unlock the fourth one, which is called Elite. These missions are harder. I'll get to them. Um, 
so in the MBT MBT um, mission set we have uh, damage dealing damage deflection that means you need to bounce off shells dealing using uh, heat rounds yeah you need to immobilize targets too <laughs> it will be fun and this one requires you to destroy a vehicle that's uh, one tier higher or at least one tier higher than you deal not destroy sorry deal damage to it <sighs> right and the final mission is finishing in top three in XP so not really not really hard the missions are easier compared to the last time uh, they're more about uh, about the effort I'm going to try some of them later so let's see how that goes LT missions are or AFV missions they require as they as, as the name suggests uh, light tanks or armored fighting vehicles they are pretty much uh, similar only the numbers are different and some of the goals for example here you need to help allies so basically basically um, you need to assist you need assist damage you need to deal damage to immobilized vehicles again finishing top 3 it's not hard or at least it's conceived to be easier than last time TDs uh, they're uh, mostly about staying hidden and about uh, about uh, targeting specific types of vehicles. TDs with heat, yeah, this is this is going to be a mission specifically meant for <laughs> for uh, ATGM TDs and so on. So once you complete uh, once you complete all all these three, and you get uh, the uh, Biohazard camouflage for all three environments you will unlock the elite mission and uh, after that you get uh, to the final chain and this chain has uh, has Kurganets parts so in the last battle pass uh, we had uh, special loot crates where which you could buy for battle coins and then you would open them and collect the vehicles from uh, collect the vehicle from blueprints last time it was um, Jesus, what was the last last uh, loot crate vehicle? I don't really understand. I don't really remember. <sighs> uh, just a moment. I will. I will uh, moderate the chat a bit. Yeah. So in this chain we have 30 free or free in parentheses uh, blueprints instead of the instead of the loot crates which were removed you now earn these blueprints directly now you might be asking if there are only 30 and you need uh, you need uh, 100 how can you get uh, 100 that's a good question that's what the shop is here for. So this is a new feature. Basically, when you finish, or either you can pro progress through ranks, levels, and so on for battle coins. But if you feel inclined, so you can spend those battle coins on something else instead. For example, here we have very uh, in the shop we have various battle coin offers. Sometimes you can spend little few few battle coins to get even more battle coins. So that's intended. That's that's not a bug. It's it's basically like a bonus. Like yay, you win, yay. The thing is, it uh, the uh, the shop refreshes every several hours, basically like once per day. And uh, to refresh the stock. You need to spend battle coins so this is kind of a sink but uh, basically this is this is meant to 
allow you to spend your excess battle coins where last time you only had uh, loot crates to buy so this time you can you can choose what you can get and you can get it directly you don't need to wait for drops and now uh, about the Kurganets so the Kurganets is uh, is, a, is, is the fifth vehicle of this battle pass um, it's obtainable via this shop or you can obtain the blueprints for the missions we've already seen that um, so what you basically need to do is uh, earn battle coins and then buy the blueprints in the shop until you have like 100 uh, Kurganets is a tier 9 tank destroyer, basically it's, it's, a, it's like a mini T-15, it's very well armed, We're t we'll take a look at it, I think, <laughs> and uh, otherwise if you don't feel like getting the Kurganets, you can buy all sorts of other stuff, boosters, other uh, premium tanks, see this is the K1A1, it's one of the best tanks in, of its tier. It's really good. So there's always something interesting to buy. And if you don't like anything, you can use three, 300 battle coins to restock. Otherwise, things work pretty much the same. You have uh, your challenges, which unlock after a certain period of that time, which is server set and objective. Um, in this case, you can, you can earn battle coins by participating in battles. See? <laughs> um, you have those repeatable missions, which you have here, which can be completed for gold, but um, they're really easy. You just need to pay attention to these. For example, these, this one requires you, uh, uh, requires you to drive a Maratishkin MBT while dealing damage or Marchishkin light tank and so on so basically you have uh, basic gameplay as a battle coin source you get battle coins for every every complete mission or every 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 battle you participate in then you have these daily missions you have the chain missions these and finally you have challenges Uh, we haven't touched on one more tab and that's the workshop. Uh, this tab is used to upgrade your vehicles uh, which you need to already have. Um, but if you don't have them you can upgrade also those from the last battle pass. So for example here can update uh, update the uh, last Patriot vehicles. Uh, each of these vehicles features uh, so-called uh, over progression modules or additional progression modules which are unlockable by as you can see completing battle pass missions, repeatable battle, battle coin mission challenges or in this case open special Patriot loot crates but that's no longer no longer an option. Um, we have removed those loot crates, so you need to complete missions, challenges, or those daily battle coin missions. In case something is unclear, here's the FAQ se section where you can uh, read. In, the, in my case, in English, but there's of course a French, German, and a Polish version available as well depending on client localization and it contains as its name suggests uh, answers to the most commonly asked questions so how does it work how can you earn how much do you earn per battle for example here's the formula and so on so if you are interested please do read it and that's pretty much it all there is to it so the whole let's say cycle is that you just play whatever the mission uh, whatever missions you like you can't you shouldn't you shouldn't be completing uh, standard missions because those, those don't count but that's all written written uh, in uh, in those missions descriptions 
Uh, it's worth noting that's actually something that is not written here that these missions, the repeatable battle coin missions, cannot be completed in on the standard, so on the lowest difficulty of PV either. So you need to run it on hardcore or special operations and so on. <laughs> now let's take a look at what you've been waiting for for a, for a long time, those vehicles. Let's go with ranks, and um, I'm not. I mean, you can you can see the stats of these vehicles yourselves. That's that's that's, that's very easy. But uh, let me just show you how they work in the testing area. So here we have the Shilka. It's a Russian anti-aircraft gun. It's armed with four 23 millimeter auto cannons and they fire really fast I mean <laughs> they fire they fire really fast so I'm going to put my headphones on to hear the sound as well because damn the sound is nice it's, it's been it's been made for for this vehicle especially There we go. So it has these four auto cannons. <laughs> See? That's some proper firepower. And this is on tier four, so <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Oh yeah. We'll try it in PvP. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Uh, so basically it's a modified uh, mechanic f uh, of the Gatling guns that we already have. And yeah. And of course there's not just the cannon. We also have uh, the active ability. So when you activate the radar, basically you become easier to spot. You get a penalty to camouflage, but uh, you get a uh, higher view range. So that's a, it's a pretty neat trade-off. I mean, it's not a great weapon against the front of MBTs. Yeah, that doesn't do much. But if you ca catch, for example, a weasel, Yep, he is dead. Lighter MBT sign or uh, MBT rears are a nice target as well. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> the sides are a bit trickier, you have to aim carefully. Uh, you might have noticed that these shells, they do damage also when you don't penetrate, so... That's a plus, but of course it doesn't really work when you are firing at some really thick armor. But it's a fun little vehicle. See? Uh, it doesn't really work. As you can see, it's not exactly fast. It's 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 more it's more a uh, firepower AFB than anything else or fire support. There we go. Definitely worth getting. <laughs> Identify target. Awesome. Thanks. <sighs> there we go. Sorry. Identify. Awesome. Thanks. So, yeah. It's 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 fun. We're going to test. If I get manage to get to it during this session, we'll test it in PvP. <laughs> now, um, for me, this is uh, this is one of the most exciting vehicles in the entire game. <laughs> I hope you like it as well. Let's try something a bit different. 
the next prize is artillery. Let's try it, try it out. So there isn't anything much going on about it. Uh, it's pretty much a standard artillery piece. It doesn't have any gimmick. But damn, it does look good, doesn't it? <laughs> Identify target. Awesome, tank. Hmm. It has uh, all these standard types of shells also has some very interesting actually it does have one interesting mechanic and that's um, two shell types it has a normal shell type that fires like with a really high angle oh that's that's the wrong one actually sorry and then it has a second shell type that fires in a really narrow angle See, it fires more like a more like a tank destroyer, but the shell is much faster. Check check out how fast it flies. So this is this is more suitable for uh, short range combat or when things get really tough. While the standard shell is more suitable for well standard situations. Uh, I should probably mention here that uh, artillery will be soon available in the global operations, so you'll be able to test test this all against other players if you manage to get your hands on it. <laughs> it should be fun. Otherwise, we have yeah smoke shells as usual, and we have everybody's favorite white phosphorus which needs some time to reload so we're going to spend some spend time shooting that was the slow shell and let's load the let's load the fast shell mm -hmm. so as you can see the shell flies really really fast but it can't target you can't use it to fire behind obstacles so you have to be really careful when you can use it. And white phosphorus. <laughs> so for those uh, those of you who aren't very familiar with artillery or or just don't care, white phosphorus covers the area with white phosphorus, as the name suggests. Uh, first it does periodic damage, not much, but it's some, and secondly it uh, reduces the target's camouflage to zero, so it's it's really useful when you want to, for example, when you have, uh, uh, when you have uh, um, objective that's being captured by the enemy and you don't see the enemy uh, and you would risk too much getting too close, so you can use that to cover the target in white phosphorus and then it will be easier to spot see this is the fast shell it will it will hit like this and this is the this is the slow shell so yep all about the targeting <laughs> i overshot yeah anyway so this is the artillery. Hmm. Let's take a look at the chrysanthemum. 
So I always kind of liked how how uh, the Russians name various uh, vehicles after flowers. So you have Acacia, you have uh, Vostika, and this is Chrysanthemum in English, I believe. So in Russian, it's Chrysanthemum. It's a, in case you were wondering if the shape looks familiar, it's a modified BMP3 hull. They removed the turret and installed the launcher inside it. See? What's really cool about it is that, and this isn't easy to do with uh, with Klein the optics in the front, see? They move with it. So that's, that's, that's like a realistic thing. <laughs> Basically the this vehicle is very simple. You have two missiles with an active radar. Again, better spotting but at the cost of camouflage. Note how the note how the camouflage goes goes a bit up and then down when you activate it. You have two missiles, tandem heat, pretty standard, although they were quite advanced for, for, for its time, so they are pretty good in the game as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. When you repeat them, they retract and you really need to look for cover. But uh, as you can see, we've also synchronized uh, the loading times with the actual animation, so it's no longer a problem. Uh, that uh, that uh, before, due to the animation, the missiles took longer to reload than they actually were supposed to, but no more. So I'm going to try firing one missile, two missiles. See, I can fire. <laughs> I'm a wreck explosion. Nice. I can fire when I'm hidden behind a bush because the launchers are basically, or not bush, but in this case, a hill, because the launchers are extending above it. Of course, when you have such a such nasty target as a Terminator, it won't be all that effective. But we can try. Yeah. Identify target. Hostile. Tag. So luckily it reloads pretty fast, so it's it's I believe it's going to be a, an effective vehicle if used properly. Not like me. Oops. Anyway. That's pretty much all there is to it. The mobility is kind of average, but that's not really what this vehicle is all about. Of course, you really shouldn't get into close combat with it because, as you can see, it has no cannon, it has no machine gun, and the missile launcher has a limited traverse. It doesn't rotate any further, so if somebody gets behind you, you're screwed. But if you get behind someone, That's more like it. <laughs> and finally, we will take a look at object 195. Tempted and then will not purchase battle coins. 
There we go. Check one on your pump. Let's run it through the testing area. We'll see how it goes. Welcome, Eisenhurt. <laughs> and welcome, all newcomers. So basically, like I like I said before, this is this tank is quite similar to the Armata 152. So, in other words, the Armata with 152 millimeter gun. It has its own gimmicks, as you can see. It doesn't have an active, active suspension or anything like that. It's 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 quite conventional. So you have you have this. Uh, the gas shell, yeah, right about that. You have some basic, uh, basic APS, but not an active one. You can't activate it; it's, it's automatic. And of course, you have the most interesting—I um, won't call it a gimmick, but uh, feature of all—and that's the coaxial. Autocannon. So, when you, for example, catch somebody off guard like this, you fire, then you switch, and yeah. and the thing about the autocannon, though, is it does it doesn't work like a machine gun. It has limited uh, limited uh, magazine, to 50 rounds. But yeah, it's. Uh, can be pretty effective. Uh, another thing about it is it only fires uh, armor piercing rounds, so the choice of targets is quite limited. But yeah, as you can see, you have something to fill your time or downtime when you're reloading the gun. Of course, it's uh, obviously effective only against very light targets, so. If you, for example, take this, this, this terminator that's standing backwards, okay, that's not ideal. But, uh, what's, what's here? Okay, terminator. So, you fire the front, okay, no effect. And then try to use the other cannon, yeah, that's not great. You can use it to damage the explosive reactive armor though. Also, potential interesting news. The tank in general is uh, pretty well balanced, so. Identify target. Also, PC. We've learned the lesson from the CATTB, which came out, let's put it mildly, slightly overpowered. Okay, more than slightly. Target. But, uh, so, so we're taking it like, kind of like easy with the balance. Yeah, here you can see that it isn't really effective against uh, Leopard, but you can do this. Okay. Okay, mobilize him. Identify target. If you fire off, so fire. Ah, now he's immobilized. Good. Identify target. Which will come in handy because some of those missions require mobilizations. Now, to the exciting phase of the stream. Yeah, uh, yeah, Eisenhardt, it's kind of, it, it, it spits out the shells, the, the Shilka does too. It's, uh, it's a really nice animation, actually, the, the developers uh, are quite proud of it because they spent, they, they did spend a lot of time on it. Well, not, well, maybe not a lot, but, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice little feature. It's, it's, it's nice, it's... It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, about this battle pass. Mm. First, I'm going to take a sip of coke. Normal coke, not the Charlie Sheen coke. I'm saving that for later. And uh, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to 
play and we'll see how fast do I earn those battle coins. Let me see if I have some inventory. Okay, my inventory is full of crap. Uh, but I could have some boosters maybe. Battle coin boosters, yes. Coupons, well this is useful. I'm not going to spend that. I want to show you how how much I how much I uh, make per ah here we go oh I have thirty okay no let's 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 play without them um, I want to show you guys how much I make without actually boosting anything so you see it's doable <laughs> of course I will I will kind of suck. Yeah, such is the way of things. I want to I wanna drive a... Okay, Marachishkin MBT. So I'm going to take a Marachishkin MBT. And I will complete a man MBT mission. Which requires me to 3, 2, 10 MBT. So I'm going to take a... Um, Shishkin MBT. Something that I like. What do I like? Oh, T-72B. I like very much. With my Ural Zavod Zavod Ural Zavod Ural Wagon Zavod Camel. God, I'm terrible at pronouncing Russian names. But yeah, this is this is definitely one of our best models. <laughs> we spent a lot of time on that one. Yeah, let me just uh, put some 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 skills on it. Okay. Aggressive when I'm moving, fine. I'm going to play it like a time destroyer anyway. There we go. And I'm going to go with a different loadout. Do I have it even upgraded? I do. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I generally prefer kinetic shells. I'm going to take heat and machine gun. All right. Yeah, that's more like it. HQ co-op missions. Wait, what? Okay. Never mind. So again, you can't use standard. Uh uh. No sir. You have to go hardcore. I'm not going to try the special operations. Although I might. <laughs> Actually I might. Hmm. Ah, let's 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 go with Ricochet. I haven't played for a long time, so I'm going to be terrible at it, but <laughs> let's see how it goes. And uh, if you ha if you guys have any questions or anything like that, then please do ask while it's loading. <sighs> but I hope it doesn't crash. <laughs> I've been having uh, problems on this this particular PC with crashes lately. Um, the last stream was kind of having some of them. <laughs> is the game for release still in beta? Beta. Uh, it's 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 fully released. Just just consider it fully released. It's been for a very long time now. It's, we haven't used the word beta in in many years. It uh, it makes no difference. It's 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 basically a released game. There we go. Who's on my team? Anyone I know? Uh, Trafalgar. I know Trafalgar. Oh, that's nice of him. Hi there. So. Four companies down. Let's see. Capturing the port is up to you now. Black company, stand by for new intel. 
The only way they could win is uh, 25 via the BP shop. Yes. Battle hardening Chris, uh, discount for Christmas. Um, sadly, no. The reason for that is that battle hardening is really. Yeah, I should have switched to shell types. What? Oh. Yeah, I forgot about these guys. Uh, this is a good start. The reason why we don't have battle hardening discounts is that they are really made in BS to set up in the game. <laughs> nah, I'll, yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to ask about it. It's something that we've been we've been uh, wanting for a long time, and uh, yeah. But I mean, I wasn't joking about it being difficult to set. It kind of is, but we want to do it nonetheless. Ah. God, I'm terrible. That was close. Identify. Hostile PC. Why? Oh, save. Ah, okay. Identify target. Hostile PC. Let's what's all this? Okay, I really shouldn't be reading the chat and playing at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, it looks terrible on the stream. New, tr uh, new tank trees in the future, not this year. But then again, this year has only a few days left. You're almost there. Event bonuses for holidays. Yeah, we're planning something. Red Queen. That's 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 why I'm not a streamer. I'm an abs when it comes to this stuff, I'm a, I'm a total boomer. Like seriously, I, I'm I'm like the worst boomer ever. ever. Spitting into mics, not paying attention. Oh, that's that's kind of stuff. Christmas garage. Yes. Yes, with with the next update, I believe. They almost hit us. And also the Christmas mode. Yeah, it's it's the one we use every year, but it's still pretty. It brings you in the mood. Like you stop think, you start thinking about s snow, snowman, and, and, and Santa Claus and everything, and uh, not. It's the fucking Chinese virus. Yeah. I don't worry about it, Quakte. That's 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 why we're here. What? Oh, Jesus. Ah, Lieutenant. So his ammo is in there. I'm going to penetrate it. Uh, maybe not. I think last year we did have a race, race for presents, Christmas tree, right? Keep moving. That looks like one of ours. We have done every year. Uh, if you have eight, eight thousand gold, then yes. Like, uh, okay, I'm totally shilling in here, but uh, battle pass right now is one of the best values for, for gold in the game, so, yeah. Uh, but the boss doesn't take all that much time to complete, like, 
you have to you have to check the rules. You know, like Okay, that sucked. Uh and now he's running. <sighs> awesome. You have to you have to combine a lot of things, like, you know, for example, when you have multiple missions that require you that require you to drive an MBT, then, then drive an MBT. Otherwise, if you just play, if you do nothing else, if you don't pay attention to any any um, any missions, anything, then yes, it will be very slow. But if you do, if, especially those daily missions, then things become very easy. Right, so ooh, fifteen battle coins. But I did some mission progress. And I'm going to show you how that works. <laughs> I received the most hits of any player. Um I wasn't exactly aiming to do that, but okay. <laughs> Uh, so basically the way it works is that you can run multiple missions at once. See, here I am w working on damage dealing mission, which requires tier 3 to tier 10 MBT. And I have a tier 6 MBT, so that's fine. Here, it requires me to drive Marachishkin MBT, so that's a T-72B, so fine. Yeah, these these require an L. Uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to um, participate in these two, I would have taken an LT. Actually, I can do that in the next mission, so you can see it. Let me just check those. Those first. Here is damage dealing. So damage dealing by with uh, an LT. And two. To, this requires Marshishkin LT and Marshishkin LT. So basically, if I take a, right now a Marshishkin LT, see Marshishkin LT, like uh, hmm, what shall I take? Oh Jesus, forgot this abomination exists actually. Um, let me take the VFM. Which is very old, kind of sucks, but you know, I'm a sucker for for old vehicles. Let's use ooh, secret commanders. Um, let's use Cortez because I'm a noob. And I should probably upgrade it as well, but eh, screw it. Let's try and watchdog. What's the state of the game? It's 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 doing pretty well actually. Believe it or not, we're gaining players. I know, shocking, but we are. We're advertising. We have we have our Russian players. We have you guys. Things are good. It's good. Yes, Spectralis Kurganets needs uh, 100 part assembly. You can get those parts either for those elite missions or in the shop for battle coins. Nowhere else. Unless somebody decides to sell them directly. But we have no such plans at the moment. Who can tell me what's awkward on this loading screen? Yeah, those laser training devices on the Abrams in a battle zone. Oops. Hmm. 
Well, regarding that question, Guide, some are more, some are more, I mean, you can get lucky and get, uh, get uh, a really good deal. So some, some bundles are, some bundles are better, but overall, they're, they're mostly the same. In other words, if you think, uh, don't count on gambling your way through, through various rerolls until you get a super good bundle, bundle. That's, that's not how, how the show works. I mean, you can get lucky, but more often you do not. God damn it, why am I so terrible? Three parts for one thousand. Yes, that's that sounds about right. Hold the perimeter. They are coming oh, yeah. from all directions. Okay. What? Okay. Oh yeah, this is the mission where you really aren't supposed to drive on the bridge. <laughs> Which means, of course, I usually drive on the bridge. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I really shouldn't have, should have loaded that, that revive kit. Should I? Jesus. Okay. Time to play it like a tongue destroyer. Which. Let's face it, light, light tanks basically are tank destroyers. No, Snowkey, I don't play World of Tanks, I work <laughs> for Armored Warfare. <laughs> that would be very, very awkward. I used to, but that was uh, many, many years ago. By the way, if ca in case you're wondering about performance, um, my PC kind of sucks. So, yeah. Oh, somebody, of course, somebody drove to the other side. Okay. Well, I'll try. Uh, so, don't worry. Chances are that your PC is probably better. Oh, you're in battle, Eisenhart. Oh, <laughs> I didn't not, I didn't really notice you until now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like always watching at the chat, watching the chat, and oh man, that's awkward. <laughs> and now I activated <laughs> the, the reduced. To reduce the accuracy for sniping. Great. Awesome. I'm on a roll today. By the way, fun fact, in uh, one of the next updates, uh, not this year, but early next year, we're going to we're going to overhaul the lieutenants a bit. They will get uh, less less T15s and more MBTs, so it will be tough. Very very tough. Damn it! I really should have reloaded that that repair kit.
Honestly, uh, compared to World of Tanks, Armored Warfare is less rage inducing, like, you know, less mental RNG. Because, as you can see, the guns are very accurate, so you hit where you're firing most of the time, anyway. Unless you play like me. Ah, damn it. Whoa, that was close. Okay. What's your position in AW team? I do everything. Like, I translate the game, for example. <laughs> no, I'm serious, I do. Um, oh, we actually won. Amazing. Um, sorry, I meant we totally won. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't have lost. Yep. Well, we do have our, our share of toxic players as well, Snooky. But, you know, you get them everywhere. So, nice mission progress. Nice. Uh, but I'm going to take a different vehicle. <laughs> oh, Stingwing. It's a premium one, nice. Stingray 2, Black Eagle. So one of the nice things we have, or sort of nice, that we that uh, that uh, other games don't is we have premium versions of progression vehicles. Like you don't have to buy something you don't know. But for example, if you like Stingray you get the premium version. It's kind of practical, if you ask me. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, those consumables. I really should use them. Mm -hmm. Nice. Here we go. First gate I've been at and synthetic oil. Because if you're burning in this vehicle, you're screwed anyway. So and I'll change the commander to Cortez. Do I have Ophelia? Why don't I have Ophelia? Damn it. I don't have a feeling. Okay, okay, Cortez then. <laughs> so, once again, battle pass. We check what we are supposed to be doing. Kills our assists. Well, 200 is, is quite a lot, but okay. But we already have. 30 battle coins. Let's see how much do we need for the next one. 50. Yeah, okay. One more battle. Like, just to be clear, you're not supposed to... Yeah. Oh, this one has the sniping ability. Okay. You're not supposed to earn, like, a million battle coins per, per battle. It's... It's like every level is supposed to be an actual achievement, you know. Sense of pride and accomplishment and all that. Alright. Mm -hmm. Action. Ricochet. Can we just play Ricochet? Ah, never mind. Na nice camouflages. 
yeah, they're they're usually sold or or they're for free in, in Spec Ops and so on. Sorry, I'm just answering some stuff. Oh, Jesus. There's a problem with Polish localization of the game. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I know the PvE missions are repetitive, but... Well... We might have a new one in uh, in 2021, so yay! <laughs> hmm. K1A1 in, in uh, Korean military military the Korean military nice. Black Company, stand by like for that. new intel. Our airstrike team is en route to destroy cartel contraband. Intel suggests it's hidden amongst emergency relief supplies. See if you can find the contraband before everything is destroyed. Nice. Now, where are things destroyed? Target destroyed. Oops. Huh? Smoke out! Move, move! Um. What the hell? Okay. Okay, next time I'm going to try and just back up. What? Oh. Bradley! Yay. You laugh. Everybody loves PP Bradleys. PP Bradley bots are awesome. What? How? Oh. oh. Yeah, that's why Bradley bolts are awesome. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, what? I'm just sitting sideways. Uh, what? Where? I have no idea where that one shot came from. It's clear the bots have it for me. For the record, Terminators are like the most annoying enemies ever. Holy oh, shit. What a shitstorm. No, not a Bradley bot. Ha! Take that. So the, the thing that's uh, annoying about Bradley's is the, it's that ATGM launcher in combination with autocannon, and uh, the fact that okay, I'm going to heal because there will be more Bradleys around. Uh, the fact that uh, they can basically just spam it without warning, which is not great when you're in a vehicle that doesn't have APS. Ah, Magic finally. Pushing codes. Nice. Thank you, Magic. Awesome. You're almost there. The MP3M is basically a Russian Bradley. <laughs> yeah, I know it isn't. I'm just joking. There we go. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm not okay. I, I have to admit, uh, I'm not taking this game very seriously. But, okay. Uh, 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 uh. No. Okay. A bit more seriously. Um, I need to take it. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Not really killing it, am I? So, what's on the menu? Oh, uh, that's not great. Okay. It's not an ideal target. Um we'll take that one out. Yeah, I know. <sighs> so this guy gave up. Oh, that's great. Well, I can stream more if you want to, guys. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good comedy, let's face it. We have control of the docks <laughs> and cartel ships. It will take some time to sort through the contraband here, but you've done your... Well, Cody, have you used PayPal? Or did you uh, activate it in your inventory? Ooh, 13 battle coins. Nice, well. Okay, it's not an epic result. <laughs> Let's see. Almost there, almost there. Uh, you know, screw it. I want to show you the Shilkai in action. So what I'm going to do is... Where is my coupons? Echoes of War. Unlock. Yes. Unlock. Awesome. Why does it say awesome? Jesus Christ. I have to check the localization files. So anything else? Like Age of Rage <laughs> coins? Yeah, you can't use the old ones. <laughs> uh, so now I have two and a half thousand because I uh, totally earned those little coins. <laughs> no. So right now I'm just progressing through, progressing through levels. Hmm. 150, 200. See how it, easy it is? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But the, if I activated the booster, it gets much easier because then you get instead of uh, 25 battle coins, you get like 200. Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Sorry.
No? No. Okay. Rat. Yes, I'm rat. Blake rat. I'm dead. Mm hmm Yes. Shilka. And now I'm going to harass people in PvP. So it has uh, several armor up several upgrades which need to be unlocked via battle pass. <sighs> battle coin missions, battle pass main missions or challenges. That's how upgrades to these vehicles are unlocked. You need to complete those in order to maximize its effect. So yes, it actually has a, an ammunition that's called FFAP. <laughs> and yes, such a thing exists. Uh, no nades, only from those those from battles. So now I have the shield come. And when I enter when I enter PvP, I bet everybody will have it. And if if there's no proper PvP PvP PQ, then then um this will be a very awkward stream. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with let's go with this one. And of course, experimental fuel repair kit. Mhm. Mm we need some retrofits too. This this is all about uh, DACA and camouflage, so we're going to go with firepower. Increases accuracy. Oh, that's good. Accuracy is good. Rate of fire is good as well. Hmm. speed. Okay. Well, let's let's go with camouflage. Well stopped. Mhm. Mm oh, there was this commander which was increasing rate of fire. Which one was it? Oh, never mind. I'll just take Cortez. Um. Yeah, I think we're ready. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. <laughs> this is going to be a short trip. Uh, the, sh the HE wouldn't work very well, I think. Need to, need to take a quick drink. Right then. <sighs> okay. That's a bit longer, 30 seconds than I was expecting, but all right. No, just PvP queues aren't short at this time of the day. People are still at work. And 95% of people play PvE anyway. 80 to 95% depending on the on, uh, time of the day. And yeah, people are still updating, that's, that's another thing. There we go. Minute and forty. Eh, it's not bad. Not great. Not terrible. Oh, smaller match. Okay. So, huh? A few shulkas. The MBTs will be annoying. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this goes. 
uh, just just a reminder, I haven't played this, this for a very long time on PvP. I'm not a PvP person. So this is like for it's more like for a comedy effect. Try to get up there. Uh, yes, court deal. You can, and you will get the gold back for for the access. Not sure why would you do that, but okay. why does why is this tooltip constantly on? Okay, well, it's off. So Sneakle is not a great spotter, and it's not very stealthy. So yeah. See what happens. <sighs> Every time I say let's see what happens, it never happens. Like never. <sighs> so there goes our guy. Are in the city. Okay. Where's the sherry at? That's not good. That's not good. Okay, that was a short trip. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> no, Cody, I <laughs> don't really think so. Uh, it's gun depression is good to have. I mean, the fact that you don't have it, it's more about... Uh, some inherent flaws in tank design. For example, Soviet MBTs, they sacrifice sacrifice depressions for lower silhouette. So Yeah. It's always a trade off. <clears throat> See how fast does this vehicle come back? Or I could just drive an autos. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's great, a spammer. You.
You receive damage from blowing up uh, targets on Mirac that counts as team damage. Yeah, I know, and it's it can't be removed. I mean, I asked. This is not something new. <laughs> ah, I have the shield come back. Okay, never mind then. Nice. Let's go. Uh, what system specs do I have? Um, oh gee. So this particular PC has uh, about four year old, no more, five year old uh, i5. So it's quite weak. Uh, CPU and uh, NVIDIA 1050. So it's not great, but well above Armored Warfare's requirements. I know everybody's just like Armored Warfare is poorly optimized and all that, but really isn't. Not it used to be like the the year it launched, but there's a there's a tremendous amount of work in place. So the optimization worked like really really well. And it doesn't seem like it's dropping the performance. Actually, quite quite the contrary. We do have metrics for that. Maybe something changed. I don't know. But we have interesting stuff in the game. Like check the check the vehicles. They get. Uh, progressively more dirty or in this case snowy with the uh, with how much you go through snow which it's I'm a percent warfare has all these kind of really nice details but of course it doesn't really save or or uh, significantly affect gameplays and it's more like I can be but yeah it's there <laughs> serious nip you're not supposed to game on laptops sorry <laughs> and I don't really even know what that GPU is because that's that's, that's not great <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I have Eisenhurts on the enemy team. Ah, oh, you bastard. I bet you were taking heavy armored and BT just just to harass me. No? What what? Oh. stream sniping me <laughs> oh yeah tracers true Come on. 
Ah, oh, he dead. You dead, man. And I would like to defeat that Amex if I can. Definitely not something I want to go head to head. I'll try to flank him. Let's if this guy survives long enough. Come on, come on. No. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> but at least Eisenhurst didn't get me. So, we're nearing the last half an hour. Any questions? Any comments? I'm trying to play... Um, hmm. Oh yeah, this one's also good. Here you can see... Uh, T ninety A in Indian camouflage, so basically like the Indian T ninety S. Hmm. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, at least I thought so. Let's try PVE again. <laughs> that's that's more up my my alley. There we go. Huh. Stura. Supercharged soft kill IPS. And I'm going to take oh, is this even upgraded? Oh, it is good. Right, so I'm going to take damn it. H.E. I don't need. <laughs> Let's take guided missiles just for fun. Philip Holtz Club. Do I have, have him even updated? Oh, okay, it's fine. Whatever. HQ PVE. Co-op missions. Am I going ricochet again? God damn it. And yes, Guide, you will. Three house boss guy. Give us the Chelly One Rainbow skin. No. No. Okay, here we go again, ricochet. Where, where is my camouflage? Oh, it was just summer. Oh, damn it. And it would have fitted really nicely here. God damn it. Four companies down. Capturing the port is up to you now. Black company, stand by for new intel. Our airstrike team is 
So the first wave comes from the way. Yeah. Ah, Bradley. I not see that one in a while. Okay. Second Bradley. Nice. Third Bradley. What? Oh god. Tier 11 armata. Nice. <laughs> just so there is no misunderstanding, there is no tier 11 in the game. It's just uh, It's just the way we mark really tough bots. There we go. Oh. Oh. There is a friendly somewhere. Oh. There we go. Which is yes, it's useless. Stop looking, he comes up. It's active APS. Suppose I can heal also. Ah, I missed. Ah, okay, he didn't. Ramming speed. Ah, oh, god damn it. I really wanted to do that. So identify fossil PC. Well, shit. Oh, okay. They us. Okay, this wasn't this wasn't my best idea. to die. Yep. Well, at least I... I respawn somewhere close. Penetrated. Hmm. Any chance for a sound overhaul? Yes. So, um, in 0 0.34, we'll be basically changing uh, engine sounds. Not very soon, it's still very deep in development, so more like towards 0 0.35, but uh, we should have more realistic engines, which is pretty nice, I think. Ah, uh, okay. 
almost did. Well, at least I killed somebody. So, when in doubt, targets a little front of plate. Okay, yeah, spawn down. <laughs> Identify target. Hostile tank. No effect. Smoke out. Move, move. map fixes overhaul uh like not an overhaul these are like partial bugs that yes they need to be finished or need to be fixed so if you could please report them to the bugs and feedback channel on discord and that would be very very helpful because we collect bugs from there It was. Oh, anyway. Murder is pretty crazy. I mean, Murder has always been like one of those best PvE vehicles ever. Hmm. Next time, I'll try Shilka in PvE. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> there we go. We could even win this with some a uh, lot of luck. So nice. Not bad. Yeah, don't don't worry. We we aren't really in a position where we would remove any missions. There we go. Let's try Shilka in PVE and see what happens. Kodiak. Well, at least it's not Ricochet. In before Ricochet. So, as you can see in the chat, there are some folks that have problems uh, getting into Belt Path. This is not due to the Belt Pass itself, but uh, because they buy stuff on uh, my game's market and they pay with PayPal. And the problem with PayPal is uh, it's delayed. It, they have some kind of weird verification system where. Uh, it's complicated. Basically, what ha what can happen is that when you buy something using PayPal, you can get you can expect up to two hours delay. It's unfortunate, but it's not our fault. Nothing we can do about it. Of 
could we get a machine gun to stop counting against accuracy stats? No, this is actually intentional. So if you if you want to use your you know machine gun, or if you want to complete accuracy contracts, don't use your machine gun, and vice versa. Credit card failed. That's that's weird. Shouldn't. But again, it's we don't really run the system. It's it's my con. If you if you if the if the issue persists, then please contact me on Discord after the stream is over. With your in-game name and description of your issue, and I'll see if I can help you. So, PVE, already changed to cavalry. Well, those, those are for the longest 40 seconds ever. <laughs> oh, it's or what's going on right now? I think I lost connection. Somehow. Yep. Great. Did the server crash? In the middle of stream? Oh, God damn it. This is weird. Let's try again. This is not a great great time for for a server to crash. Let's see if let's see if it works now. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Looks like the server crashed. <sighs> Talking to our tech guys. Yeah. Lots of reports. <sighs> God damn it. <sighs> ah, whatever. Do you guys have any more questions or anything like that? Now's the good time. Because after 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 we reach two hours of the stream, I'm going to I'm going to end it. So let's use it. 
the Char uh, Challenger Ferry skin is not for the Western market. The only people who have are who have it are moderators, for obvious reasons. I mean, just look at it. Tanks in the BP shop are oh, that's that's actually a very good question. Around sixty to ninety k for a very good one. Battle coins. Yeah, three uh, very goodies. The server crashed. Can the CCs also get it eventually? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, this China sh Chinese stuff. Uh, Sorry, I have to respond to our tech guys. Jesus Christ. Please bring back previous contracts. No, the the whole point of these contracts is that they are here for a for a limited time only. And well, might as well this uh, and well after that they're no longer obtainable so if they were repeating constantly no besides some of those older contracts had mechanics that we don't we no longer use the current contract will end in uh, Early March or eight or very late February. Uh, is the coin store with previous BP vehicles going to con uh, continue for future? E yes, I think so. But then again, we don't have a specific plans for the future BPs. Yeah, there's a lot of time for 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 this contract. Have you considered the drone ability for the AVCs and lights? Yes. Yes, but then we decided it's either super annoying or completely useless. Like there's there's a lot of ideas that we had that, that would turn out either super annoying or completely useless. It's some things are just very hard to balance. Now I have been disconnected from the server. Thank you. And I'll try it one more time. The low tier T three six vehicles get a rebalance, yes, in the in the future. Uh, QN506 doesn't really have a drone like per se, it's more like a missile that goes forward and spots everything in its direction. Yeah. <laughs> so... Mm-hmm. Still stuck on authenticating. Yeah, it looks like our, our old server crashed. Authentication. Hmm. Uh, T55 Enigma will get up tiered. No, at least not that I know of. Hmm. 
Damn. <laughs> this is not how I, how I wanted the stream to go, but I suppose I'm going to have to live with that. So, um, in the words of Jeremy Clarkson, on that note, we're going to wrap up. Um, thanks for attending the stream, guys. Thanks for your questions. And, as always, see you on the battlefield.